Good evening, Holy Grounders. We are here again with the last member of our Holy Ground leadership team. And I'm going to let him introduce himself. But we have Jay Mello here, and Jay Mello is the musician for Holy Ground. Welcome, Jay Mello. What would you like to share with the Holy Grounders today about, about yourself? About myself? Yes. Okay, first, I go, who may know me, I go by Jay Mello. Some may know me by JR. Um, Jay Mello is pretty much my, my artist name. You know, it's, it's short for J Melody, which the J, which a lot of people don't understand. It's just, it's plain and simple. It's, it's, it just stands for just, I'm just mellow. I'm just Melody. Mm -hmm. So basically my thing is, is I'm here to be a part of the Holy Grounders with, with, with the gift that God gave me with music and all types of artistic ability that I'm trying to find a place in and see where I fit in and, and I fit in here. So everything that I may do and working with the um, wonderful Kimberly Shante, you know, and just, hey, just trying to do, be a part and fit in where, you know, where I fit in it. That's all. Cool. And Holy Grounder, since this is my last um, interview or meet the greet with, uh, meet and greet with our Holy Ground team leads, I'm going to ask, Jay Mello, a few extra questions because I can, because he's also my brother. And oh. um, <laughs> he is my brother. I, I was so, going to call you, you know, Rev. I was going to call you Rev. I thought, I, well, yeah, I am. That's, that's you're my sister. Just. Absolutely. <laughs> so, so share a little bit about the instruments you play. Oh, okay. Well, first, I started off on buckets, <laughs> pots and pans, which actually led me up to play the drums. So I started out playing drums and then I moved on because I wanted to, you know, learn another instrument, which was then I think this is like one of the hardest instruments in life to learn was this piano because I kind of like taught myself one note at a time and, and just and it was very, very frustrating. But now now I can play it. And then so. Went from there on and got in the marching band. And when I was in the marching band, I was, you know, since you are my sister, you played the woodwind instrument, she played the clarinet. So I wanted to be a little bit, I said, oh, I want to learn the saxophone, but then I ain't really want to do all the reed stuff. So I kind of like started playing around with, with, with Lacey on the trumpet. So I learned to play trumpet a little bit. And then my homeboy Big D played trombone. So I learned how to slide on the trombone. After, after being in marching band, watch, watching somebody march in a whole band and didn't read music, he, he felt, hey, I can figure this out too. <laughs> and so from then on, I went on to start playing the guitar because I was, I got into um, producing beats for, for artists. And then people would come in and they would request like, I can hear like an acoustic guitar. And then I said, you know, I, we know how it is trying to find somebody to do something for us. So like, I got to find somebody to play the guitar. Then I'd say, I think it should go like this. And I want you to like, man, it's not, this is not going nowhere. So let me just sit here one note at a time. Got my fingers blistered, got blistered up, got the calluses and learn how to play the guitar. So that's kind of wrapped up all the instruments. Mostly. Awesome. Thank you. My next instrument is going to be the violin. The violin. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna okay. be my next one. My little, my yeah, I, I started out in the cello, you know. I, I enjoy the cello, but okay, violin. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. So what are your pet peeves? Like what gets under your skin? Oh man. Okay. <laughs> this might be a little different. Just just follow me. Just try to follow me. All right. I'm I'm a li I'm a listener, mm. and I, I, I I'm I'm a great help. I I want to be able to see if I can take some past experience or something that I've been through, or something that I know, or get, you know give advice. So when when someone's talked to me, I listen to them. Mm -hmm. What I really hate from a lot of people is they don't say what they mean, mm -hmm. and I take what they say verbatim. Like like you, oh, you yeah. like, but then they come back and say. Well, and yeah, most of the time I'll repeat and a lot of people like they'll say something and I'll repeat it right back to them exactly what they say and they're like I didn't say that I'm like you just said that well that's not what I meant 
I meant to say this. I'm like, well, but this is what you said. And it happened so much. And it's just like, why do people just, just say what you mean and mean what yeah. you say oh, at, at yeah. that time? Because it's confusing. It's, but that's confusing to me. Got it. I hear you. That's like the main thing. Got it. Cool. So what do you do yeah, for fun? Oh, yeah. Mind. It gets you? What I do. <laughs> what I do. Yeah, what, what do, do you do for fun? for fun? Yeah, what are your hobbies? I'm a um I'm a sports and comedy junkie. <laughs> I um I love sports. So I, I'm waking up, I'm trying to get first take. I'm watching the uh undisputed. I'm trying to figure out what, these, what what's going on with the Saints, what's going on with LeBron, what's going on with everything else is all like who's hurt, who's not hurt, who up for a contract. Who and have COVID? I sit back and who got the COVID? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who got the COVID? Somebody on my team got the COVID. <laughs> yeah, we got to make sure he's straight before he go talk to Breeze and the rest of the guys. But um, <laughs> I other than that, I um, I, I love watching like old comedy shows, like like old Bernie Max and or I, I'm I'm fascinated by impressions. People who do impressions because I oh. think they some of the most talented folks in the world, and they they can. They and, they and they say how they learn it. They learn it off the cadence of listening to the voice, like kind of like how I learn music, but they do it, man, it's just crazy. So mm. I just like checking out them. That's that's something to me that's totally opposite from music. I sit there watch yeah. sports and do comedy. Like I'm not doing no music. I'm just laughing and having that's a good cool. time. That's cool. So what keeps you grounded or describe your faith journey or you could do both whatever spirit is leading you to to share what keeps what keeps me grounded i, th I think it's 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 because i know deep down deep down i really know that something is great it's gonna happen for me i don't i don't know necessarily like when and how and i i have no control of it so my faith journey is I, I've been faithful and I've been unfaithful to the point that I was just mad at God. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, and then I, then I realized like, well, I'm mad at him, but I never asked him for nothing. I never asked, you know, I, I pray, but I never asked for anything. I'll be in the worst situation. I sit there like, well, you have not because you asked not. So I like, I know this and like, well, so maybe if I ask for something, I'm going to say, I'm not going to get it. And so I got so used to being told, no, I'm like, well, you don't even care about me. And so my faith kind of got a little, but then at the same time, I'm like, I'm contradicting myself because I'm I don't have faith, but I'm having faith because I'm still talking to him. I'm mad, <laughs> but I'm talking to somebody who I don't believe. He was dead, you know what I'm saying? So like, ah, oh, so now because now, like you said, like I said earlier, I'm a listener, so I'm listening to myself talk. Like, what are you talking about? What are you saying? Like, so I know that it is God. I know that. So my journey got to be worth something, and mm. so I continue to still share my life, be good to people, even when they treat me like however. I still continue to be good, even when I, I, because I know it's bigger than them. It's bigger than me. So, something you know that's that was kind of that would keep mm. me grounded mm. pretty much mm. thank you thank you for sharing it so you're gonna have the last word but before that i just want to thank the holy grounders for joining in jade and said jay Mello. <laughs> so he sent a message out to you yeah. <laughs> and um everyone join us friday night for our first anniversary our holy experience will uh, be led by our team and we have a holy word that will be provided by Reverend Cedric Harmon, uh, the executive director with Many Voices, a Black church movement for gay and transgender justice. Come check us out, Facebook Live. And if you have any other questions for Jay Mello, put it in our chat or our messenger or uh, add it on to the video. And we look forward to seeing you all soon. So Jay, Jay Mello, you have the last word, the last song. What would you like to leave with our Holy Grounders today or tonight? Uh, I guess I, I guess I'll play a little bit. Play a little bit.
And it is so. Good night, everyone. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>